Okay, so in this video, we're going to be continuing on significant figures, and we're going to be talking about rounding significant figures. So let's just get right into it. Let's do some examples. So if the first rule for rounding a calculated number is if the digit to be dropped is less than five, leave the digit before it unchanged. So here's an example. Round each of the following numbers to three significant figures. Okay, so first, why don't you pause the video and determine how many significant figures these numbers have to begin with. Once you've done that, we'll go on. Okay, so the first number had four significant figures. And if we rewrite it, only having three, it would be like this. Okay, this is three significant figures. And again, this number, the first number to be dropped is less than five, so we leave the digit before it unchanged. We don't round it up, basically. How about in this next example? Well, it originally had five significant figures, I believe. Let me write the unit there. Don't want to forget that. Zero, four, one, two. That's how we're going to write this, okay? So again, the three here, the first digit to be dropped is less than five, so we left the two unchanged. Okay, so the next example is obviously if it is five or more, okay, the first digit to be dropped. We increase the digit before it by one. So again, let's round the following to three significant figures. So this is going to be 32.9. Okay, let me try to fix that too. 32.9, because the eight here, the first number to be dropped, okay, is more than five, so we increase the digit before it by one. Same idea here, okay? So this is gonna be 0 0.009, and remember those zeros in the front of the number are not themselves significant, okay? So we start at the nine, seven, eight. So it's just one more time. That seven is more than five. So we increase the digit before it by one. Okay. So pretty simple. Why don't you do this example, pause the video, go through this example, and then we'll do it together. Okay, so hopefully you went through that okay. So let's go. Each of the quantity, following quantities to three significant figures. All right, so going through these a little faster now, this is 1.43 centimeters cubed. Okay, because again, that seven, first digit to be dropped was greater than five. So we round the two up to a three. Same idea here, 4.5 six centimeters squared. Okay, the first digit to be dropped, the eight, greater than five, so we round the six, the five up to a six. Another example, this is gonna be, once my pen behaves, 2.22. That two is not greater than five, so we leave the digit before it unchanged. All right, finally, 4.54 centimeters cubed. Okay, again, that four is less than five, so we're gonna leave the digit before it unchanged, okay? So that's um, pretty much everything for this video. And in the next video, we're gonna be talking about significant figure rules for addition and subtraction.